Okay, so if you actually understand basic math and a little bit of algebra, well, you should be able to easily solve this problem without using a calculator. And uh, what we have here is a simple equation. So we have 14% of 0.25x is equal to 14% of 6, and we're trying to solve this equation for x. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. Once again, no calculators. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. So one more time, we have 14% of 0.25x is equal to 14% of 6. Let's see what x is equal to. Well, x is equal to 24. Okay, so, you know, we ended up with a nice whole number here. And some of you might, you know, look at this. You're like, well, there's 14%. I got a decimal. Maybe you're kind of anticipating a more complicated looking answer, like something with decimals or fractions. But uh, one thing in math, when you go to solve an equation, and it doesn't make a difference how complicated an equation is, you just never know what the answer is going to look like. Oftentimes, the answer is going to be a nice uh, no integer value like negative 2, right? And it could be some crazy equation. So you kind of have to trust your instincts. You know, when you do get your answer, if you, you know, if you follow the correct process, then you need to be confident in your answer. But if you got this correct, that is fantastic. And for those of you that, uh, you know, were able to solve this problem with your calculator, I'll still give you a happy face. But if you actually do this without your calculator, you get the A plus 100% and multiple stars. So you could tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about uh, arithmetic, okay, and basic algebra, because that is what we are talking about in this particular problem. All right, let's get into it right now. So here is the equation. We have 14% of 0.25x is equal to 14% of 6. Now, let's just notice something here, okay? I'm, of course, yeah, I already kind of wrote out the solution. But this right here, 14% of 0.25, this is just some sort of numeric value. 14% of 6 is some sort of numeric value. Obviously, if we had our calculator, you could calculate it, but let's just kind of go up here and kind of set this up so you can kind of see the big picture here, right? So we have all this complicated stuff, 14% of uh, 0.25, but this is a, just a number, okay? All this is a number, and it's a number times x. Nothing you know, very similar to, like, let's say 2x is equal to another number, okay? Another value, all right? So let's say, like, 2x is equal to 10. So how would I solve for x? Well, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation uh, for this particular equation by 2. Now here, if I wanted to uh, solve for x, I simply have to divide both sides of the equation by this particular number value, right? So whatever this is, if we divide both sides of the equation by that, we will solve for x. So you always want to keep the big picture in mind. And here... Again, if this is kind of confusing uh, to you, you know, uh, that's why a great thing to do when you're kind of confused on what to, what to do, especially with equations or in algebra, is to try to find a, uh, an easier um, example of what's going on, all right? So basically, this is a basic linear equation. If you're like, okay, let me just look at a basic example, put some easier values in there, think about what the steps are, and then just kind of extrapolate that to what's going on here. Okay. But in this particular problem, we're dealing with percent. We got 14% and 14% right here, okay? So some of you might feel compelled to be like, well, it's the same thing. Can I just cross cancel these guys right there? Well, in fact, you kind of can do that, okay? But let's suppose you weren't sure that you could do that. Remember, uh, we need to think about how we can convert percent into an actual value, okay? Something that, that we can work with, i.e. like a decimal or a fraction. So 14% is equal to the decimal 0.14, okay? So uh, it's just easier to convert a percent to a decimal. And how do we do that? It's pretty simple. All we have to do is move the decimal point over two places to the left, which is the same thing as divided by 100. So if you're looking at 14%, you're like, hey, where's the decimal point? Well, the decimal point is always after the number. If I said uh, 5, where's the decimal point on 5? We'll just think 5.0. That's the location of the decimal point. So 
uh, you know, 14 percent is the same thing as 14.0 percent. So you just move that decimal point over two places to the left. You got 0.14. So 14 percent is equal to 0.14. So anyways, hopefully you know this. And again, it's just basic concepts, basic percent skills. All right. So the, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, rewrite this problem. I'm going to take out these 14 percents and put in a 0.14. So now we're just dealing with all numbers here. Okay, so here I have 0.14 times 0.25x is equal to 0.14 times 6. Now you can see my next move is I am indeed going to cross cancel these 0.14s. But let's look at an easier example of why I can do that. Okay, well, let's suppose you had uh, 6x is equal to 12. All right, so 6x is equal to 12. But if I had 2 times 3x is equal to 2 times 6. So basically, I'm rewriting this equation. Uh, it's the same equation. 6x is the same thing as 2 times 3x, and 12 is the same thing as 2 times 6. So here, I have like factors, okay? So in algebra, this is these are factors right here. It's all multiplication. These are factors right here. When you have like factors amongst... Um, both sides of the equation, you can just simplify it like so. You can actually just cross cancel those uh, factors and you have 3x is equal to 6. And of course, we would solve that equation. 3x is equal to 6 uh, by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. So x is equal to 2. Okay, and of course, uh, here you normally you would just divide both sides of the equation by 6, but I'm just highlighting here when you do have common factors, uh, and again, a factor, all right, in other words, that's being. Uh, separate the operation here is multiplication. You can just simply cross cancel those. So in this case, I got 0.14 times 0.25 times x is equal to 0.14 times 6. These are all factors of this uh, of these uh, respective products. So I can simply just cross cancel that, and that uh, gives me now 0.25 x is equal to 6. All right. So now what do we do? Well, um, at this point, uh, instead of Working with decimals, I'm going to elect to work with fractions. Okay, now if some of you did this problem without the aid of a calculator but took a different path and still got it right, that's fantastic. As long as you had the arithmetic skills uh, to figure this out, that's what counts. Okay, but you always want to work the most effectively, most efficiently as you can. So here, my next move is I am going to rewrite the decimal 0.25 as the fraction 1 fourth. Now, there are some uh, com very common decimal values that you should just know the fractional equivalent, like 0.5 is one half. Hopefully you know that. 0.25, of course, is one fourth. Uh, 0.75 is three fourths. There are some others, but these are some basic decimal and fraction equivalent that you just kind of should just know, you know, by kind of uh, uh, rote memory, right? You don't need a calculator. But let's suppose you forgot this. You're like, okay, 0.25. How can I write that as a fraction? Well, this is what? Well, this is the tenths place. This is the hundredths place. So 0.25 is the same thing as 25 hundredths. And you can reduce that fraction down to one fourth. All right. So this is how you can write um, any decimal as a fraction. It's just basically, uh, you know, uh, say the decimal using the place value and then reduce uh, that fraction if possible. And then you'll have the respective fraction for that decimal. Now, if some of you out there are like, boy, I knew this one time, but I totally forgot all this stuff. Well, if you're getting back into mathematics, you've got to definitely upgrade your arithmetic skills. I have a fantastic um, a math course that can really help you out. It's a little mini course. It's called my Math Foundations course. Uh, it's just a three chapter course, but I go over all about the, all the stuff you forgot in elementary school and middle school in terms of decimals, place values, fractions, percent, order of operations. That's super, super important, especially if you plan on taking more advanced math like algebra. That is your foundation. If you had a home, for example, and here's my little uh, picture, little sketch of a house. There's my house. This is my foundation, right, of my house. Now, in mathematics, your foundation is arithmetic, okay? All this stuff that, you know, you learn in elementary school, middle school, and then when you get, like, you know, into high school and college, you're like, yeah, I don't need that. That was all basic math. I don't need that. Well, that is, in fact, 
your foundation. Now, if you have a shaky foundation, if you didn't learn this stuff too well, you're trying to learn all this like advanced math on top of this. This is gonna you're you're not gonna do well. Okay. So you got to definitely respect all those basic math skills. And if you don't use them, we tend to forget them. So, anyways, if you need a refresher on it, that is a gr uh, great little course that can help you out. All right, so let's continue on. So 0.25x is equal to six. But again, 0.25 is equivalent to the fraction one-fourth. Uh, so we have one fourth X is equal to six. So now this is super easy, assuming you know some basic algebra. So what's the objective here? Well, the objective is to uh, solve for X. In other words, get X by itself on uh, the left-hand side of the equation. Now we write this as X, but really the coefficient, the number in front of this X is one. Okay, this is one X. But here I have a one fourth X. So how can I get a one-fourth? How can I turn a one-fourth into a one? Well, it's very, very easy. Anytime you have a fraction in front of a variable like this and you're trying to solve for the variable, all we need to do is flip this uh, fraction upside down. So one over four uh, is going to be four over one. Okay, so if I said write four as a fraction, you'd be like, well, uh, it's just a number. It's not a fraction. Well, you could always put it over one, and now you just turn it over. Uh, you just make that number. You think of it now as a fraction where it has a numerator and denominator. Okay, so this is how you solve equations when you have a fractional coefficient. Just multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be four. But if I'm going to multiply four by this side, I have to multiply four by this side. Now again, just to be super clear about this, when we multiply four by one fourth, what happens? Well, you got four times one, of course, is four, over one times four, four divided, four divided by four is one, and that's what we, uh, what we want, one or one x, okay? All right, so again, we're gonna multiply both sides of the equation by four. Six times four is 24. Okay, so that's basically how you solve that. But let's suppose you got this answer. You're like, you know, I'm just not sure, uh, you know, that is the right answer. We can always check. Before we continue with the video, please take a quick second to help me out. So what I need you to do is to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my content reach as many people as possible on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that bell notification as well. So you know when my latest videos are posted. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. Uh, your solution to any equation by just plugging in uh, for the variable. So if x is equal to 24, let's replace this x with a 24 and see how the, if the equation balances, i.e. if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So let's go take a look at that right now. So I want to replace this x with a 24, which I believe is the uh, correct solution. So now, yeah, even if you had a calculator, you're like, okay, 0.25 times 24. If you uh, wanted to use a calculator, you're going to see that's going to be equal to 6. Okay, Or if you're like, 0.25 is the same thing as 1 fourth. 1 fourth of 24 is 6. Either way, at this point, look at what we have. Okay, You're left with 14% okay, of, of course, 0.25 times 24 is 6 is equal to what's over here, 14% of 6. You don't even need, uh, need to do the math because you can see uh, these uh, are the exact same values, right? 14% of 6. Is 14% of 6 equal to 14% of 6? Yes, indeed, they are the same thing. So uh, this number value that creates this situation is a valid solution. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.